Another topic, another day with you. So today's topic is mechanics. So on the diagram you see, we are busy with mechanics today. Okay, as you know, we have two questions every day. Today's question is number one. So gravitational acceleration on the surface of planet X with mass M and radius R is G, okay? Gravitational acceleration on the surface planet Y with, with 2m, mass of planet is 2m, and the radius is half r. So they're asking you gravitational acceleration, how many g for y? That's our question. And our answer is 8g y. Let's try to explain. So as you know, we are going to try these questions first, and then you will come back and check your answers. If you didn't do that, two marks gone already, but it's fun. You can go back and you can try at least next question. So every day, please try first from PDF, video link, you can get it. Please get first and try. So let's answer this question now. We have two planets. First one, okay, let's draw. First one is X with two R, X, sorry for drawing, it's ugly, I know. So it is with, Radius is R and mass is M. This is planet X. This one is X. For Y, it is half radius. It is smaller than that, but mass is double. So we have R over two for radius, and then we have two M for mass. Let's write, we have two M for mass. This is Y. So we should remember two different formula. First one, gravitational acceleration, gravitational force, sorry, gravitational force, what was the formula? Or weight, another name is weight, you know, M times G. Or we have another formula, G times, it's another constant number, it is constant number G times M, small m, mass of object, if you have any object on top with mass with M, is another one is here with M. So M times M, this capital now, this is mass of planet over R square. So if you use these two formula, two formula for gravitational, gravitational force, both of them for weight. If you just use these two formula, these two mass, mass of object cancel each other. So what we are getting, G equals gravitational acceleration is equal to this G constant number times mass of planet over r square. So if your mass is m, it looks like, okay. So it is m and then radius is r and then g times m times r square, you are getting gravitational acceleration. I think it's okay. You are getting gravitational acceleration. Now what we are gonna do, we are gonna change this m with 2m and then r with r over two. And then we are gonna get g y planet Y. Okay, let's try. G is constant, we cannot touch it. And then we are just making 2M and R over two squared. So, so we are writing like that. After that, as you see, from now it is just mass. So 2M over R squared over four. And then four is going up. As you know, when you calculate this, you can get eight times G times m over r square. So all of them we know from this equation you see, it is g. Finally, you are getting 8g. Maybe you can get easy way, another way, but to understand everyone, I'm just explaining with long way. So the answer is d, 8g. Question one, two marks question, done. So let's continue with other question. Okay, we, we have other option for this question, but it is that one, you know, if you make two mass double, you are making double for G, it is number one. If you make just getting less, you know, less radius, so coming closer to center because of getting R, because of R square, so one over R square, one over two square is equal one over four, and then just swap that, making four, four times two, eight. Normally, I calculate like that without touching and just calculating without any calculation, but we can just use with long way also. All right, let's continue. Anyway, I hope you understand this one. 
Let's continue with next question, mechanics, another question, question two. As you know, we have every day two questions. Question two, let's see what they ask. Two kg block, all right, this is our system. On cover page also, you see that. So we have 20 kg object and then P and Q with M and then 35 Newton's force acting here, apply force, all right. And the direction of motion, that's important one, moves to the right, okay. And then any acceleration, no, at constant speed. It means acceleration is zero. Okay, we understand everything from, just from diagram. And then let's see what they ask. Question 2.1. First of all, define the term normal force. Okay, two marks question. Define the term normal force. As you know, you can just read through from here. So all definitions, please try to learn. As you see, everyday question from past paper questions, they're asking you guys, they're asking you some definitions. So we should know, we should memorize. Please make your list for each topic and try to learn all definitions. Normal force, normal force on the system, but they said perpendicular force, of course. And then this is our gravitational force, just going to, so it is FG. But normal force start from surface and then perpendicular to surface. Normal force you can show with Fn or just N also fine. As you see now, it is perpendicular surface. But if you have another system like this, inclined system now, see. Even now, it's supposed to be perpendicular, but Fg, gravitational force always going down as we see. But normal force, See, coming from center, you can draw, but start from surface and then perpendicular to surface. Please don't forget. So this is normal force, all right? Because we need this one when you are drawing free body diagram also. Okay, so this one is fine, just to understand. Normal force perpendicular to surface and start from surface. Start from surface, not always perpendicular to gravitational force, don't misunderstand. Always perpendicular to surface. Okay, perpendicular on surface. That's it. All right, let's continue with next question. Let's see what we have now. Next question. Let's continue. Sorry, just technical problem. Okay, so next question. Let's see what they ask. Okay, draw free body diagram. Okay, in mechanics, free body diagram, not say always, but mostly coming free body diagram, they're asking you, draw free body diagram. So which object, which block we are using? 20 kg block. Okay, we are gonna draw free body diagram for 20 kg block. Okay, as you see, just on 20 kg block, we have these forces, but we can show, we can draw force diagram also, and then just to understand. What they said, we have gravitational force or weights starting from center of object. We have gravitational force, perfect, just going down. We have weight, other name is what? Fg, gravitational force. And then normal force perpendicular to surface, we said it's going up. We can draw from just center is much better. So starting from surface, and then going to center of object and going up, not making waves, sorry for drawing. And then just, you see already in memorandum, you see that. So this is our normal force, all right? Normal force is gone, gravitational, gravitational force is gone. And then tension force, as you see, your tension force is here. Why is that? Because that one is, pulling object, as you see, disconnect here, tension force always on string. So tension force is here, but from now, friction force is very important. Friction force, maybe you can draw this way or that way. How we are gonna know which direction for gravitational force, direction of motion is giving you direction of friction force. Moves to the right, okay. They said moves to the right, gravitational force, sorry. Object is moving to the right. If object is moving to the right, moving with constant velocity, if object is moving to the right, well, friction force opposite direction of motion. So this is important point, please remember. Friction force opposite direction of motion, all right. And then you are showing your all forces, normal force, 
tension force and gravitational force friction force and apply force, you can see all of them here. If you just draw like this, you cannot get full mark. Please remember, you should write what is N and normal force, or you can show with F and it's fine, but just write normal, normal force. One of these, all right, you don't have to write all. For friction force, you can write friction force, kinetic friction force, or FK, also you can show with FK or F, F, and then gravitational force, you see all examples here, all just, but you must label them. Please write, just write N and then write what is N. All right, please don't forget that. And then let's continue with the next question. Calculate the combined mass of the two blocks. Okay, we are looking for mass of two blocks, P and Q total mass. We are looking for two, Q, P and Q total mass. We are gonna calculate guys. So calculate the combined mass M of two blocks. Okay, let's calculate. Let's show memo. I'm lazy today. So, all right. First of all, we are starting with, we are starting with Newton's second law. What we know, this object is moving, right? And then with constant speed, if moving with constant speed, what is your acceleration? Acceleration is zero, of course. So F net equals M times A for 20 kgs we are talking about now. We are, we are starting with that for 20 kgs. So let's just clear all. Okay, F net is equal to M times A for 20 kg. And then tension force, you know already the forces, we just we did draw last two points. So we did draw tension force is here, friction force is this way. We are using only these two, not normal force, not gravitational force, only these two, plus this one, apply force, but apply force, which one we are using? If apply, if apply X, we are gonna use, all right? So tension force is here, direction of motion, because of that, it is positive. As you see, Y tension is positive, F is negative. We are using direction of motion positive. All right, tension force minus friction force minus F apply X, F apply parallel. After that, tension force minus five, friction force is five. I think it is given. We can just double check for that. Yes, friction force is given. It's here, five newtons. And then F apply already given 35. F apply X, how can we get F apply X? 35 times cos 40, angle is given 40 degrees, and then zero, ma zero, why? Because constant speed, acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero because of that, you are writing zero, and then you are getting tension force from first equation. When you get tension force, you are coming to this side. Now you have tension force this way. You can say why now tension force this way and then going other way, because tension force always pulling. Okay, always pulling object. So tension force is this way, but what else we have with this direction? We have gravitational force, Fg, Fg for P and Q, Fg for this system. And we can write another Newton's second law equation, F net equals M times A, Mg, because we know Fg is equal to Mg, Mg times mass times gravitation acceleration minus tension force, is equal to m times a. We know a equals zero because of that ma is zero. And you can calculate mass from this equation, 3,25 kg, done. Five marks question, I hope it's okay. As you see, we are using our first object to get tension force. And then you are coming to second part of system, P and Q, system M, mass M, so we are getting, and then we are using another Newton's second law, that's it. If friction force is not given, we have to use Newton's first law with normal force, and we, have, we should get, friction is given now, we are lucky, this one is easy, but maybe next time they will not give you friction force. If they don't give you friction force, we are gonna use normal force to get friction force. But that time they are gonna give you coefficient of friction, for example, 0 0.1, some one or two something. So you are gonna just get using Newton's first law, N is equal to F times G, you are gonna calculate N, and then you are gonna say friction force is equal to coefficient 
of friction times normal force, you will get friction force after that same process, same solution. But now we are lucky, friction force is given. Okay, so 2.3 also done for today. Let's continue with next question. Okay, next one. Let's see what they ask. At a certain stage of motion, block Q breaks off. All right, so we have P and Q. Q is gone, gone, falls down. How will each of the following be affected when his, this happens? Okay, two for one first. The tension in the string choose from increase, decrease, or remains the same. So if you remove Q, you are getting less gravitational force, right? Because you are getting less mass. If you get less mass, so you are just, you will see, you are gonna get answer decrease is okay. Mass, this is gone, Q is gone. If Q is gone, you are getting less mass. For example, if it is five kg, next time it's gonna be together, what was it? 3,25, right? 3,2, but we don't know how many kg for Q. Let's say one kg. So it's gonna be two, two, five. So getting less. If it's, it is getting less, so you are gonna get Fg is equal to m times g, right? Fg is equal to m times g, but mass is getting less. Mass is getting less. So we are looking for what? Tension force. Of course, tension force also getting less. Tension force decreases. I think it's okay. Mass is getting less because of that gravitational force getting less. And then tension force also getting less decreases. Okay, let's continue with next question for 242, velocity of the 20 kg block. So what's gonna happen for this question? First of all, Q is gone. If Q is gone, so object will slow down, slowing down because we have less mass, less tension force, and then we have 35 newtons here, and then we'll move to left, but first of all, slowing down. Because of that, for this question, velocity of 20 kg block, answer like this, first option, moving to the right, velocity decreases, slowing down, accelerates net force to the left, and then net force we have because of applied force, so slowing down. But if you are talking about tension force, also decreases, because we know already the question 4.1, two for one, and the net force acceleration x opposite direction of motion to the left, you can write, you can explain like that, or moving to the left, you can say velocity increases, slowing down first, getting velocity zero, and then going to the left. All right, for now, it is going to the right, it is going to the right, 20 kg object, object, and then firstly slowing down and then going back. Because of that, you can use any option on this memo. So you can use any option. All right, for today, we have done. See you next lesson. Please try day one, day two, day three. And then we are going to day four with you next lesson. Have a nice day, everyone. See you next lesson.